Wookiees, they are big, lovable creatures, but also fierce warriors. Their tall stature and powerful roar make them formidable opponents that no one wants to go up against. Originating from their home planet Kashyyyk, Wookiees, just like humans, all have many different personalities from many different backgrounds, but they all shared many similar characteristics and traits, including unmatched loyalty and intelligence. They could also understand other languages, but surprisingly, they could not speak it. Instead, they spoke their own language that simply sounded something like this. <laughs> of course, Chewbacca was the most notable of all Wookiees and was a great partner to Han Solo during the time of the Galactic Era and beyond. But throughout Star Wars history, both canon and legend, there have been many other Wookiee heroes as well, including the brave warriors such as Tarful, who defended their homeland against the Separatists during the Clone Wars era. <laughs> Wookiees have also been through many trials and tribulation in their past, and the Empire actually enslaved their homeworld Kashyyyk after the Clone Wars, forcing the Wookiees to cut down their own giant trees for Imperial supplies. Not only this, but they were also sent against their will to massive construction sites such as the first Death Star. Eventually, after much war and struggle, Chewbacca with the help of Han Solo freed Kashyyyk after the Battle of Endor. We now know that, despite the many troubles they've been through, Wookiees are strong and resilient people. But what about Jedi or Sith Wookiees? Has there ever been a Force-sensitive Wookiee in the history of the galaxy that has made a major impact? If we start by looking at the canon side of Star Wars, we arrive at a young and small Wookiee by the name of Gunji. He may look like any other young Wookiee, but there was something special about him. He was a Jedi in training. Under the guidance of Ahsoka Tano, Gunji, along with other potential Jedi classmates, participated in what is called the Gathering, which was described as an ancient Jedi ritual that would test potential Jedi to become a Padawan. Gunji learned quickly during the Jedi training and showed great patience as he was tasked to search for the first building block to his lightsaber, a Kyber Crystal. Each Kyber Crystal was unique to each Jedi and his was located out of reach across a large body of water. It was here that his patience was tested as he waited for the water to freeze so that he could eventually cross and retrieve his crystal. Even Yoda himself commended Gunji for his great deal of patience. But this was only the beginning as his skills were truly tested when Ahsoka was captured by Hondo and his band of pirates. Eventually, Gunji and his Jedi classmates ended up freeing Ahsoka during an unforgettable battle when Hondo was attacked by General Grievous. Ironically, both pirates and Jedi worked together to escape General Grievous' attack. We're not sure where Gunji's story continues from there, but we would sure be interested to see how Gunji turns into a strong Wookiee Jedi and feel it would make an interesting story for Lucasfilm to tell. And believe it or not, Gunji is the only Jedi Wookiee that is a part of the canon Star Wars history. To find the other Jedi Wookiees, you will need to revisit the Legends history where you will find such Jedi Wookiees as Lobaka, Taivaka, Roar, and Kurlaka, each with their own fascinating stories to tell. Lobaka, for instance, was the nephew of Chewbacca and survived many battles utilizing his computer science skills and training as a Jedi. And according to the Legends timeline, Taivaka was such a revered Jedi Master that he was a member of the Jedi High Council dealing with and overcoming many difficult situations. But common sense tells us that not all Wookiees could have been good, which brings us to the next question. Was there a Sith Wookiee?
If we take a look at the playable character Hanhar, from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, it was rumored that the developer wanted the player to have the option to turn Hanhar into a Sith Wookiee, but LucasArts overruled this decision and prevented him from being either a Jedi or Sith. Regardless of if he was a Sith or not, Hanhar was one evil Wookiee, killing countless of his own and separating from his tribe to live in the dark shadowlands of Kashyyyk. If he would have been force sensitive, he could have easily embraced the dark side and become a major threat. And as of recently, Disney has even shown interest in exploring corrupted Wookiees. Black Kersantan first appeared in the Marvel comic book Star Wars Darth Vader 1 and did his evil deeds between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back under the command of none other than Darth Vader himself. He may have not been a Wookiee Sith, but believe it or not, he was actually a bounty hunter. And eventually, Black Kersitan even runs into Chewbacca, resulting in an intense battle. Even though Kersitan didn't end up being the Wookiee Sith we've all been looking for, we must look back at his homeworld. The planet Kashyyyk is full of many different landscapes and types of Wookiees, and as a result, we've seen the birth of many good heroes, but the Shadowlands of this beautiful tree-covered planet reveal a darker side and potential underground that could possibly bring forth the Sith Wookiee we've all been looking for. We believe that Disney could explore these dark, unknown lands even further, as it could be the perfect grounds to give birth to a dark side Wookiee. Could there be, within the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk, another Wookiee, or perhaps even a band of Wookiees, waiting in the darkness to reveal themselves? And if such a Wookiee exists, who would then train, and most importantly, tame such a beast? We also have to take a look back at Gunji. Not only did Gunji possess intelligence, skill, and a great deal of patience, but he also had the capability to craft an amazing lightsaber made of wood, an unusual choice for any Jedi. A Wookiee Sith weapon would probably be quite similar, crafted of some type of wood, just like that of Gunji's weapon, to depict their home world, but we're guessing it would probably be from the Shadowlands. In fact, a double-bladed lightsaber may suit a Wookiee of such size very well, considering the potential reach it would have in the hands of such a tall beast. And while Wookiees are already well equipped with a thick layer of fur, strong armor for our Sith Wookiee would definitely make him even more intimidating in battle, and we're guessing that he would benefit from having a band of Wookiees with him as well that would serve under him, performing his will at command. Even the wisest of Jedi would fear such a strong beast of the dark side, and perhaps only those with advanced knowledge of the Wookiees' ways would be able to help. Chewbacca would certainly come into play here, and we believe that he could be the one to use his advanced knowledge and skill to help the Jedi take down such an evil Wookiee. Canon or not, we have found no evidence of a pure Wookiee Sith, which is why we have to imagine our own. That is, unless Disney comes up with their own. And now that Disney has the helm of Star Wars, we believe exploring the Wookiee's homeworld, culture, and different personalities, both good and evil, deserve a spot on the big screen. We got a glimpse of this in the prequel trilogy, and the Battle of Kashyyyk was certainly one of the most amazing battles we've seen. If you compare it to movies like King Kong or even Planet of the Apes, which go deep and explore these different worlds, we believe a Wookiee movie could actually work. So, the question is, would you like to see a Sith Wookiee introduced to the new Star Wars canon and a movie focused heavily on the Wookiee culture? If so, leave a comment below and let us know. And don't forget, we've left an Easter egg in this video. Did you see Anakin Skywalker in this video? If you did, leave a comment below and let us know where you found him. Thanks guys for watching. If you have not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. And may the force be with you always.